Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about foods which are high in iodine and also what are the benefits of iodine rich foods. Hello guys, I'm Dr. Anshil Gupta. I'm a functional medicine expert. I help people reverse their chronic conditions by making personalized functional medicine plans. So let's first talk about what is iodine. So iodine is an important mineral which is needed for several functions of your body. Especially it is needed in production of the thyroid hormone. It is also needed for proper functioning of your brain and your nervous cells. It is also important for maintaining the metabolic health of your body. Now let's talk about what are the benefits of iodine. So the first benefit of iodine is that it will help you in your thyroid hormone production. So especially if you have a thyroid disorder like low thyroid or Hashimoto's disease, then iodine containing foods could be useful because iodine has shown in research studies to help with thyroid hormone production. The second benefit of iodine is that it improves your immunity. Yes, your immune system also needs iodine to function properly. And in research studies, it has been shown that people who have iodine deficiency have higher chances of getting a lot of different kinds of viral infections. Third benefit of iodine is that it keeps your brain healthy. So if you're feeling that your brain is not working perfectly, that you're forgetting things, you're not able to concentrate on things, then iodine could be useful for you. So you see, these are all the benefits of iodine. Now let's talk about some cautions. So caution is that a lot of people are taking very, very high doses of iodine. And research studies suggest that taking very, very high doses of iodine, especially for Hashimoto's patients, which is a thyroid disorder, is not good. A lot of people with low thyroid or hypothyroidism, the underlying cause is Hashimoto's. So unless you are pretty sure that you do not have Hashimoto's, please do not take very, very high doses of iodine supplementations. Now let's talk about a lot of people have this question about what are the iodine deficiency symptoms. So let's talk about them. So the very first symptom that could be because of iodine deficiency is goiter. Goiter is enlargement of your thyroid gland and sometimes because of iodine deficiency that enlargement of thyroid gland that leads to goiter can happen. Deficiency of iodine can cause thyroid disorders also like Hashimoto's and low thyroid conditions. Low iodine can also cause weight issues. Yes, weight gain can be a symptom of iodine deficiency. The next symptom can be feeling excessively tired or fatigued is another symptom of iodine deficiency. Hair issues, especially hair loss or hair thinning can is also been associated with iodine deficiency. Skin problems like dry skin or eczema again can be related to thyroid or iodine. And the last one is cognitive impairment. That means that, again, if you feel that your memory is not that great, you're forgetting things, you're not able to concentrate on things or not able to remember everything, those all can be signs or symptoms of iodine deficiency. Now let's talk about iodine-rich foods. So the number one foods which is rich in iodine or highest in iodine is seaweeds. Now seaweeds actually grow in the sea and they have very high concentration of iodine. Some of the seaweeds are like nori, kombu, kelp. All of these seaweeds are high in iodine. Now, a lot of people might not have these fresh seaweeds available from where they belong. So dried seaweed or even powdered seaweed is available almost everywhere in the world now these days. The second food which is very high in iodine is seafood, especially certain fishes like cod, like tuna, like shrimp, these are all high iodine containing seafood that again can give you enough iodine if you consume them on the regular basis. The third food which is also high in iodine is dairy. Yes, dairy can also have some iodine, especially if you are eating cottage cheese. It has been shown that cottage cheese is very high in iodine. But what it was shown was that it depends on the quality of the milk and the processing of the milk that determines the iodine content in the cottage cheese and as well as in the yogurts and also in regular cheese. So you cannot rely on dairy as your potential source of iodine. But yes, there is some iodine which is present in dairy, especially if you are getting your dairy products from organic, pasture-raised animals only. The next food which is high on iodine is eggs. Yes, eggs are also high in iodine, but eggs have two parts. One is the egg white and the egg yolk. Most people will discard the egg yolk and only eat egg white because they're concerned about the high fats in the egg yolk. 
but a lot of minerals, especially iodine is present in the egg yolk and not in the egg white. So if you are going to use eggs as a source for your iodine, then you need to consume yolk. Now, the interesting factor is that if you get eggs, especially from uh, organic, cage-free, uh, grass-fed chickens, then the yolk doesn't have the bad fats. Actually, it has good fats and it is also high in some omega-3s. So that's the reason if you have access to these kind of eggs, then certainly it will be a good source of iodine for you. The next food which is high in iodine is prunes. Yes, prunes is kind of a dry fruit which is available everywhere in the world. And it is also have good amount of iodine in them. Prunes have other benefits that prunes can also help you with your constipation because they have high fiber content in them. Uh, they can also uh, keep uh, you full for a longer amount of time because again, because of the higher fiber. Some of the vegetables which are high in iodine are green beans, corn and potatoes. Obviously, we do not want to eat too many potatoes because obviously they have too many carbs and that can harm your body. So try to stick with green beans and also organic non-GMO corn that can give you some amount of iodine. Some other foods which do have some iodine in them are leafy greens, especially spring greens and watercress. They have good amount of iodine in them. And these uh, green leafy vegetables are good for your thyroid and good for other things also. So they can provide you with your iodine source. The last one is obviously iodized salt. Yes, there is a big uh, confusion in people whether they should eat iodized salt or they should use Himalayan salt or rock salt. So if you cannot consume any of the other foods which I mentioned above, then the only source for iodine for you is iodized salt. And I think you need to consume that so that you can get enough iodine in your body. I hope you like this video and now know what are the iodine rich foods. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.